All right, same thing. Watch the video, answer the question assigned at the end, and you can submit it any way you can, hopefully through Schoology. But if you can't do it that way, hand in a copy when you return to class. Send it to us in an email. Send, us to a, send it to us via text, whatever it is you have to do to get the assignment done. Make sure you get it done. So we're going to talk about voter ID, another issue uh, with respect to the presidential campaign, something to think about in the future beyond 2020. So we're just going to go into a few things. So uh, there are some arguments for voter ID and arguments against voter ID. All right. The idea that um, people should have some sort of um, identification when they vote to ensure that, you know, one person votes um, and it's not uh, uh, somebody who might have been um, dead or somebody who might have, uh, you know, might be appearing on the rolls, but they're not in that town anymore. They might have voted m more than one time. Um so we want to make sure that the person who votes has a legal right to do so, but also um, is not participating in any type of voter fraud. Some of the arguments against voter ID is that um, some people find it hard to find a, uh, a good ID, you know, a photo ID. It may be too far away to get a photo ID. You might not have the resources to get it. Um, it will disadvantage um, minority groups. And it's not necessary. OK, that voter fraud is not something that happens that often. So we shouldn't change the whole system because uh, some people think that voter ID is a good idea. So here are the voter ID, ID laws in every state. Um, a non photo ID, OK, which uh, you can have your um, vote counted, but you have to sign a sworn statement or you have someone there who works at the polls who can vouch for you. All right. Um, some have photo ID. OK. And th these are many of the states here in the South Midwest that you have to present some sort of government issued photo identification. So the person who's voting matches uh, the person on the registration rolls. All right. And there are many states that don't have any of these um, types of voter ID laws. OK. So non photo ID photo ID and no ID required. A couple cartoons. Remember, if there's no title, then you start looking at the words, new voter ID laws, enter here. And obviously, this is a maze and people seem to be lost inside the maze. And what the artist is trying to or what the cartoon is trying to uh, say or the point of view of the cartoon is that these voter ID laws make voting very complex and more difficult. So less people will participate. Now, this uh, cartoon, you go to a bank, you have to show a photo ID. You go to a movie rental, you got to show a, uh, a uh, photo ID. A bar, you need a photo ID. Air travel, you need one. But when it comes to voting, you don't need one. All right. And, uh, and people make a big deal about voter ID when it's uh, common practice in many other ways, uh, the, the idea to have some sort of photo ID before you do certain things. Okay. So the point of view is this, is that people are making a big deal about something that is commonplace and that we should try to protect the vote. So should states require a voter photo identification? Make sure you have a claim, reasoning, and specific evidence from the video in your response.